So last time we looked at recording notes onto multiple lanes in the sequencer in order to trigger different sounds within the same module using separate notes. But what if you want to reverse that process? If you want to bring these together, to merge them into a single MIDI part, and you decide you don't need them to be separate anymore, you can select them all, right click on the, there you go, on the sequencer, not on the clips themselves, and you can choose merge note lanes on tracks. And if you do that, all your parts are put together into a single MIDI clip, which is rather handy. If you go to the tool window, if you decide you want to undo that, or you have a clip that you want split from having been played as one clip, you want it split into separate clips, you can do that in the sequencer tool section and the extract notes to lanes command can be found here. Now this is quite handy, it works on whichever clip you select. And you can tell it to split off any notes that you want to separate sequencer lanes. So you could choose a note range here if you wanted to split only notes played in between, say in this example, C2 and C4. Or more likely, you might want to explode the part, which sounds rather exciting. It's not quite as exciting as it sounds. All that will do is create new sequencer lanes with all the different parts on, plus one with the originals still on. And that's really useful if you have a complex drum part and you don't want to have to start copying and pasting the notes, you can just explode the MIDI part out to separate tracks and then edit them in more detail or quantize them or use regroove on them. Let's have a look next at using automation on lanes.